Hey everybody, I needed to come out this morning and share, <clears throat> well, a whole lot of Washman news and, and encouraging news, of course, all right? Um, as I know that <clears throat> many of you are still sitting there in shock a little bit, right? Thinking about what happened yesterday, right? Okay, well, hey, God's got this. Nothing has changed. Jesus is still coming, and scripturally speaking, let's take the fact that, you know, uh, we're shown things ahead of time, the Holy Spirit moves, and using one another as we come together, and as we share with one another, um, and also, he, he is the one that appoints the kings, all right? So, you know, last night before I went to bed, there was a few videos, it never fails, always, right before bedtime, right? That showed me something that I was like, oh my goodness, what? This would so explain a lot of things. Yet, you know, hey, it was 2 in the morning, so I had to wait for today, this morning, to get up and pursue <laughs> what I was, uh, my mission from God. Well... Like I said, and several people, especially a very close sister, has seems to have like a we're in one accord completely. And I know many of you are as well with me. And I love it when you share things with me through the things that I've been sharing. And I really love it when the Lord shows me something and you all share with me even before I get to say anything. <laughs> That's the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so, you know, this almost 67-year-old brain dead, okay, I'm not. That was a negative affirmation. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Okay, I have seven blood clots in my brain, seven strokes. So I'm supposed to be dead, not on medication. <laughs> and yet, um, so if my videos don't appear to be as sensational as others, you know what? Uh, gee, God has made all things possible for me where I can outsmart a smartphone and still get things done and the messages out in whatever way I need to, even though the enemy wants to make it difficult, <laughs> okay? So we all know how that happens. All right, well, of course, I was also one of them that was sitting there going, there is something so wrong with this whole thing yesterday. There was, everything was wrong. Um, I saw things like I couldn't see. Like the night before that I had shared with a sister that I am seeing things in the spirit now like I've never seen before. And I'm not on drugs. I don't drink. And I, I'm like actually seeing things in not crazy seeing things, but seeing things in the spirit or hearing things. And then again, the Lord shows me things at two in the morning when I'm just about to go to bed. And it's like, whoa, so I got to pray about them. So I woke up this morning thinking I needed to pursue what this was going on and all about. So sure enough, I get a video sent to me right away that said that and confirmed that this whole thing that we saw yesterday was actually pre-recorded. Like 10 hours prior, as I'll leave all the videos and links, okay, that I'm about to share with you. And if you all remember, the other night when I came out and shared, well, it appeared to me to be a ritual. Um, and I went back to like a brought me back to the time the Lord reminded me that when I went down to Iconicia in Mexico um, during the spring and the fall equinox, this is where millions gather to watch the sunlight or the moonlight or whatever light come through this little portal hole, <coughs> code words, and uh, come down the stairs and it lights up the stairway, that's very tall by the way, to the head of two dragons at the bottom. And when I saw this, it was like, whoa, this is exactly what happens during this time. And knowing that it was also a ritual, and no, it's no sacred pool. 
And don't forget, D.C. is not even a part of the United States, okay? But there was something in that video that kept catching my eye. And I kept thinking, well, maybe it's a glitch or something. All right? So I went back a few times with it. And again, it didn't quite hit me, but I haven't had the time or taken the time to sit down and sort it out. So what does the Holy Spirit do? He lays it on a sister's heart along with several other things here that I'm about to show you as well. So like I said, yesterday's event was pre-recorded way ahead of time. Um, the video that I watched at 2 a.m., one of the first things he said was the virtual army, that he was there, there was no military there whatsoever because it had already been done. It was virtual. It was, it was all pre-recorded. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so in my professional manner here, let me share. All right, so this was the picture as I put in the link, and I'm going to put that link back up as this guy on Twitter spotted it as well. And I didn't finish this because we're allowed like so many minutes or a minute, not less than a minute of any kind of, uh, you know, news stuff as creators. So this guy says, you know, what is this? Okay. And we know about the pool sitting there. And this is what I was focusing on. The sacred pool, they called it. And the oblique, right? So we know that this was some kind of ritual. But what I kept seeing was a thing on the right. And I'm thinking, wow, is that like a glitch or what's going on, right? A glitch in our matrix? Okay, Project Bluebeam, maybe? All right, because it circled and sent to me. My goodness. Thank you, Sister Catherine, with eyes to see. Amazing. Well, I wasn't the only one to see that. Oh, let's go this way. Sorry. Okay, so on Twitter... It shows that this guy here is showing that, um, well, let's put it this way. These are supposed to be the same people. Do they look like the same people to you? And how come they can go in in one color and come out in another? And the one on the bottom, without naming names here, is pretty obvious that it wasn't even the same person. And if you also noticed and watched, you saw that the hand wasn't quite touching, all right, the book, all right? Okay, because he couldn't. The book is holy. And then it talks about the nuclear football. And my goodness, I'm thinking about so many dreams and visions that y'all have had out there about nuclear footballs basketballs, things like this, right? And, well, anyways, so that sparked me as well, as well as the fireworks that I said about the 4th of July, and actually I was talking about the, uh, the jabs for joints kind of thing, and all the dreams and visions out there about fireworks, and then I see on the news this morning, they're showing a whole bunch of fireworks were set off that night as well. So, also, okay, let's continue on, Deb. I was also thinking, you know, Lord, you know, I'm talking to God all the time. How is it going to happen where, you know, the church from Revelation 4 to Revelation 19 is not mentioned? Why? We're not here. All right, so in the United States also is not mentioned during this time. And how is she going down? you know, is the questions that I've been talking to the Lord about. So if you look at the fact that peace and safety, right, and sudden destruction, I would think that that would have everything to do with it because now these other countries are probably feeling very safe right now, although they don't know better. Um, but they're all in it together. We know this. Uh, they're probably feeling very safe right now. And that America isn't. And also, 
on Nancy's hard drive. They found all kinds of deals with the country to our west, right? Let's just put it that way. And uh, we saw all the ships. We've seen all this stuff coming, all right? But Jesus tells us in the very last days that there'll be many that come in my name. And also, the biggest thing that he keeps reminding us over and over and over is do not be deceived. There's a lot of disinformation out there right now. we got to sort it out. we got to pray and be led by God and not jump to conclusions. That's, that's easy to do, all right? So we need one another. We encourage one another, but also we confirm one another. All right, so then now let's go to uh, another picture here. All right, so we saw those two. And then this morning, and I think this is what, uh, uh, well, Brother Rainey out there showed pictures of the white tents that uh, they're doing now. They're doing a drive-through um, clinic in Garland, Texas here, where you can just drive through. Um, and the freedom to vaccinate, okay? So, yeah, in New York City, of all things, unreal. And he was the one that said he wasn't going to. And, of course, the fly shows up again. Surprise? I don't know. It was like when I saw um, the 45th and his wife and the couple, the other couple, um, all celebrating, I was like, oh, my gosh, he's back. And, yes, he is. And never left in the first place. He's just been sitting there waiting, okay? And I also have a recorded message that I will put in the link again of the now, what they say, person saying that, you know, that this was taken by the Republicans, yet they're still standing there. So he's even confused about this, all right? I don't blame him. <laughs> God is in control. And we see what's happening here, right? This is true. <laughs> um, so, saying that, I just want to say, we need to be very careful about not being deceived. We need to pray for one another, encourage one another. Um, my goodness, like I said, I know that in the Spirit, I have been seeing things like unreal. Like, I can I'm like, see through walls, and things like this. And like I said, I'm, I'm not on drugs. I'm not on anything like this whatsoever. And I'm seeing these things. It's like, wow, what's happening? And it's like when I go to look for something, all of a sudden something's sent to me. <laughs> Unreal. And there are several others. Our military will not serve under this administration. Okay. And I got a video to back that up too. Um, no, they won't, because they also know who is involved. You see, they know more than we think they know. We need to give them some credit, and these are our kids that are out there. We need to be praying for them, um, as they're surrounded as well by now. I'm thinking about JFK. We've talked about this. I'm thinking we've talked about Pearl Harbor, how the warnings were, were sent but not listened to until it was too late. Um, so I just wanted to encourage you all that even though this virtual thing happened yesterday, and I say virtual because it was, all right? <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you, Jesus. That's all I can say. Happened yesterday. Jesus is still coming. I remember four years ago when everybody was screaming, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, because I thought that somebody else was going to get in, right? But as soon as this one got in, then all of a sudden they jumped on that train. So, lesson. Lesson learned is God gave everybody enough time to jump off that train and get back on the Jesus train. And also, he gave more grace and time for people to come in 
to the kingdom of God. And also for those to get right with the Lord, the prodigal children that had walked away, right? Because, hey, you're going to go home anyways, whether you're pre-trip or mid-trip. There, there's no such thing as post-trip, so uh, we come back with him on white horses then. So no matter what you believe, okay, and we won't debate it, you'll be pleasantly surprised when it happens because it's very biblical and it's everywhere um, in the Word of God. If we have to do a lesson on that, we will, of a pre-trib rapture. And no, we are not in the tribulation right now, or I certainly wouldn't be able to, well, write a check or go to the bank or go to the store or anything else. And I'm still not wearing a mask and not being forced to. I noticed that the shelves are not getting bare yet. Notice I say yet, because there's going to be a trinkling coming here, I think, within the next day. Well, I'm also going to put other things, instead of saying it, I'm just going to put other videos in there that show that things are happening so fast and that all these things are coming to pass, but God is not moved by any of it. He's still on the throne. He's still in control, and he's still coming. We are to encourage each other with these words. This is Debbie from Texas, and I'm saying, peace out, Maranatha. Keep looking up, brothers and sisters. The king is coming.